Welcome back, Five Chasers. I hope that everybody is having a great day. If not, it's totally fine. Just find a way to make it better and you'll live. Today, we're going to be focusing on the second chakra, which is the sacral chakra. This chakra can be found in the lower abdomen, just below the belly button. The color for this chakra is going to be orange. The element for this chakra is going to be water. Now this chakra in particularly houses emotions, pleasure, creativity, and relationships, okay? And so you're probably wondering, well, how can I know if this chakra is unbalanced? I got the answer. So symptoms of imbalance of the second chakra, the sacral chakra, can include withdrawnness, tenseness, uh, maybe you're fearful, you're judgmental, you're unforgiving, you have some depression, you're insecure, you got some addiction going on, you have lack of motivation. Yeah, you got some things you might want to work on. <laughs> And so if you're wondering, well, that doesn't really sound like me. So maybe my chakra is balanced. Well, this is how you can know if the chakra is balanced. You're energetic and you're joyful. You're creative, you're gentle, and you're fertile. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, why would she say fertile? Well, all of our chakra points connect with our organs, everything in our body. Everything is connected into one. So this also can pertain to our health as well. And so back to the unbalanced side. If you have noticed a few of the things that I called out and you're thinking to yourself like, wow, that sounds like me, let me help you out a little bit. So some things that you can do to get that chakra balance is obviously you can do yoga. You can do the dancer pose. You can do the cow face. Uh, you can do the triangle pose. Many different poses in the future. I will be uploading videos for each chakra and different yoga poses. Poses, sis, poses, sis, sis so that you can visually see them versus a picture. You also can use aromatherapy. So let's say maybe you want to use some saddlewood. Maybe you want to use orange. Maybe you want to use yin yang. You can pop that in a diffuser. Depending on the therapeutic grade, you can put that on your skin, on your pressure points, maybe on your temples, and maybe behind the ears. Because this chakra element is water, you want to connect with water as much as possible. Maybe take a long hot bath. Maybe go on vacation and go to the beach, get in the water, enjoy yourself, really embrace nature. Maybe you, maybe you want to go to the lake, maybe you just want to splash your hands in some water for a few hours, I don't know. But you want to connect with water because the element is water. Vibe Chasers, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you were able to figure out if your chakra is blocked or if it is balanced. Make sure that you keep working on each chakra individually so that you can vibrate at the highest point as possible. I'll be uploading the next chakra video really soon. Stay tuned. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Thank you so much, Vibe Chasers. Have a good day.